Why are we here? What do you think? Why are we here? Sir, can we play? Yes, that's why we are here. Seriously? Yes, 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 you can play. Let's go. <laughs> Yay! Do you really think Sir Brad is here just to play? I don't know, maybe Sir will be a good mood or something. Or maybe you just got bored of teaching us geometry. This party is really fun, huh? Yeah. You know, I'm still higher than you. Yeah. Still, I'm gonna cross the limits. Mm. Oh wait, sir, here. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, I have something interesting for you guys. Oh. Okay, tell me. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, I see a closed figure. Okay. I see a bunch of sticks on the ground. Correct. So see, any closed figure on a plane with four sides and four angles is called as quadrilateral. Okay. There are many quadrilateral shapes around us. Like, uh, like this style. Uh, boxes, walls, or even the pattern on your shirt. Oh, and the swing. Yes, correct. So, let's see about uh, different types of quadrilaterals. Okay? Okay. Come, come, come. We'll play with the sticks. Yes. So, what do you think? Which shape is this? Mm, is it a square? Correct. Uh, sir, what is a square? Okay. A square is a quadrilateral whose all sides are equal and all the angles are the right angles. Okay? For better understanding, let's give them the names. A, B, C and D. Now, uh, can you tell me the properties of this quadrilateral? Oh, so I think that side AB is parallel to side CD, right? Correct. And AD is parallel to BC. Correct. And what can you tell about the diagonals? Hmm. A diagonals are intersecting at a right angle. Correct. Moreover, the diagonals are equal in length and they bisect each other. Okay. Oh. Now, Meenal, remove these two sides. Atul, join all the four sides at right angles. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, which type of quadrilateral is this? Uh, sir, I have seen this shape before. Okay. Uh, my books and notebooks are also of this shape. Correct. Oh, and we cover door. Yes, this quadrilateral is called as rectangle. Oh. Yes. Now, as we did for square, can you tell me the properties of rectangle? Oh, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. um, just like square, a rectangle has opposite sides parallel okay. to each other and all the angles are right angles. Correct. I can also see that the diagonals are of the same length uh -huh. and they bisect each other here. Perfect. The only difference I can see from a square is that not all sides are equal. Hmm. Only the opposite sides are equal. Correct. See, I told you guys, geometry is not that boring. Hmm, it isn't boring at all, actually. <laughs> okay, now let's get creative. Try doing some different variations with the sticks. Come on! I think huh? we made a shape. Okay. What do you think about this? It's an interesting variation. Okay. We kept both the opposite sides parallel, but we changed the angles. Correct. This is called as parallelogram. 
Oh. The opposite sides are parallel and equal. Okay, and? And uh, the diagonals bisect each other here. Yes, and? The opposite angles are also equal. Okay, great. Okay, now let's revise everything. Okay. So today we form a square, a rectangle and a parallelogram. So now can you tell me all the common properties for all these three shapes? The opposite sides of all these shapes uh, are equal and parallel. Mm -hmm. But only in square the four sides are parallel and equal. And okay. in a square and a rectangle all the angles are right angles. Correct. And for all these three shapes the diagonals bisect each other. Okay. okay. Now the final question. The angles adjacent to the same side are they supplementary? Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. Now enough for today. Now next time we'll try to change the angles and the length of the sides and we'll see the magic. Oh, okay. that would be interesting. Yes. Come on, let's go and play. Yes. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Okay. Yeah.